Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Confidence isn't cliche. Confidence isn't cliche because, you know, in these spaces where men are giving advice to other men on getting women, um, usually some people at some point, somebody, if they any good, going to talk about confidence. But of course, you get many who feel like, oh, everybody says confidence and you know, anybody could talk about that and how do I get confidence? But here's the thing. Women go crazy over confident men. And see, the thing is, the beauty of confidence is, is not dependent on what you look like or how much money you have, but it's something that's within and that's where it actually has to come from. See, confidence is just believing in yourself just believing in yourself, loving yourself, and just going through the world with authority. That's how you, that you gotta start with that. Because I'm gonna tell you what, yeah, people will talk about the looks and all of that, and even body. Hey, I promote body game, but there's a bigger reason. Well, let me get into that real quick. The main reason I promote body game is not so you can look like a certain aesthetic, or have a certain amount of body fat. I promote body, the main reason for body gain is just being comfortable with yourself. If you 300 pounds, hey, if you short stature and 300 pounds, but you comfortable with that, hey, and I met some dudes like that, that's cool. You know, we don't have to get into the health or aesthetics. If they comfortable, they comfortable. You know, and some, some are. And D, when we talk about that confidence thing, that overcomes a lot of supposed physical limitations. Like I've talked often about that whole height thing and I've known several short statured men who got women. The thing was they were just confident, you know? I mentioned this one guy, his nickname was Caveman. The thing with him, he was just confident. I mean, seriously. Or I've talked about big man game. You get some big guys, you know, I could talk body game. I could be like, yeah, you gotta work out, you know, watch your eating. You know, while they eating their rib, pork rib at that, you know, chilling, got some like barbecue sauce that they made splattered over this. It. like, yeah, okay, mom. You know you're looking at this rib too. Be looking at a bunch of guys who were in the gym for six hours and say, y'all know y'all want these ribs. But they confident. In fact, that's a big part of their game. See, the thing with women, yes, they, they are visual, but they're not solely visual. That's what guys can't get. And yeah, they looking at a man's resources. Yeah, let's just be real. They are gonna look at a man's resources. They don't mean it's gonna get them, but they gonna they pay attention because the reality with women, they pay attention to every single thing. They they gonna at least look at it. Whether they swayed by it is another thing. They're gonna look at it. But one thing they are uh, almost universally swayed by, almost, almost. There's always gonna be an exception. And, but it has, it's a confidence, a man believing in himself, moving through the world with authority, knowing what he could do. See, women by nature are insecure. Women by nature don't take risk. Women by nature, they want that security. But how are they gonna be secure around a man who don't believe in himself? Like you got some guys saying, well, I'm not six feet. The woman wouldn't want you, wouldn't want me. I'm not six feet, you know, I got 20 pounds overweight. Okay, so and a lot of guys, they're going to communicate that to the woman, not so much in words, but in their actions. See, the thing with confidence is more than the belief in yourself. Consciously, you believe in yourself, but it reflects in how you move, how you walk. Women, many women find a walk sexy. They looking at the man's walk. They looking at his posture. Is he walking up tall or is walking like slow, slow, stomping along? That says everything to the woman. A lot of women, I don't care what, it, well, actually women will tell you they're looking at everything. They'll tell you they're checking out your body language and they're going off how you make them feel. But you gotta have, that's the confident thing. See, a man could be, he could even be introverted, but if he's walking through the world with some confidence, women are going to respond. 
even if they don't necessarily want to have sex with you for whatever reason. They could have somebody. They could be lesbian. But if you're confident, they're going to respond. If you speak with authority, they're going to respond. If you sincerely believe in yourself. Because, see, I'm going to tell you what. A big problem out here is not the looks thing. It really ain't. And a big problem out here ain't a bunch of guys being broke. A big problem out here is a lot of guys simply don't believe in themselves. And a lot of times it might not even be a major thing. You know, I can understand if they went through some serious trauma, but a lot of guys, they comparing themselves to another man and thinking, well, I ain't got what that man has. And you don't. Let me be clear on that. You don't have what that man has. And you know what? It's irrelevant. That man don't got what you got. That man might be looking at you thinking, oh, they wish you, they had something that you got. Because it's it, like, like, you know, I've talked about that old handsome man. I did a bunch of videos on the handsome man game thing, right? A whole lot of, a whole lot of guys lose out because even if they call handsome, they still got some type of insecurity. They still got some type of insecurity and women pick up on it. It turns them off. You know, if they look extremely handsome, a woman, you know, to use them for sex real quick, and I do mean use them for sex, might still deal with them if she finds them sexually attractive too. Or she need, uh, she need a good trophy. But otherwise, she, that guy who may not look as good, may be a big gruff, whatever, but he's confident, the woman's going, she's going to be like, ooh, she's going to feel something, you know? Because part of that confidence also goes down to the... Uh, also goes down to a primal level. It goes down to just being masculine. That man who's going to go out and forge his territory because he believes in himself. He believes in himself. Now, understand something. Even sexually, that confidence is there. What they call it, big dick energy. That's all it is. You're just sexually confident. Because some guys actually hit me up. I ain't going to call any names, but they're concerned about their size. They like, why well, ain't that big? How can a satisfied woman? First of all, let me address that real quick. A woman's G spot is only about is only about an inch in. It's an inch in. That'll drive her crazy. Her A spot is only maybe four inches. An average woman's vagina is only four inches. So unless you're smaller than that, you don't have to worry. And even then, it depends on what part of the country you're from and which. Uh, what part of the world you from and what woman you dealing with But several women have also said some of their best sex came from guys who weren't packing like that But those guys had energy. They had confidence That's how powerful it is Because the thing is and I said this last week in a video You know your physicality is going to change Your physicality is going to change shit Hell depending on the woman your dick size is going to change Ain't no joke seriously you know, one woman, she, she, she get a little bit from the other woman's shoes. You getting it, you getting it to like lunch you ain't think about. But the thing that stays the same no matter what is your confidence. That's very important. And it starts, like I say, it starts with just believing in yourself. It starts with loving yourself. It starts with accepting yourself. Nah, you ain't no six foot two dude. But there's some six foot two dudes who probably looking at you, wish they had what you had. You know, they probably wish they weren't as tall, believe it or not. I know somebody on the outside say that, but how many of them did you actually talk to? Or, or you might get some dude who feel like, uh, you know what? His body ain't as tight. His body ain't as tight. He ain't at 10% body fat, right? And you might think, oh, I wish I was like him. Yet that same dude be like wishing they could put on weight. I met a lot of dudes on the more slimmer side, slimmer side, um, even um, you could say they were ecstatic and they trying to put on some weight. They were like, hey, how can I put on some weight? So whatever you, the, broad, the point is, no matter what you looking at somebody for, somebody looking at you for it, no matter what. I even knew, I'd never forget this guy who, like, you could see the women throw themselves at him. You could see it. And they were just feeling them. But this guy said, I mean, the women, I mean, some baddies too. They were throwing it. And the guy was just like, yeah, he enjoyed it somewhat. But he also said he wished he was some guy who didn't get as much attention. You know? Being confident is just being comfortable with who you are. 
And then the stuff you don't like, being confident, even being confident in changing it, which you can change, accepting what you can't change, ex, uh, understanding, being confident that you change, that you can change what you can. But it starts with believing in yourself, accepting yourself, accepting who you are, loving yourself. Then everything builds from that. Everything builds from that, you know. And yeah, somebody's gonna reject you, but somebody, everybody on this planet is gonna get rejected by somebody. It's just being confident, believing in yourself. All right? So it's not cliche. And yeah, you might have some issues you gotta deal with. Okay, work on it. Work on it. If you got self-esteem issues, some trouble, whatever, work on it. But it still come down to loving yourself and being confident in yourself. All right? Bottom line. So that's all I have for today. Well, right now, I gotta get used to that, but sometimes I don't know if I'm gonna do a car video or a couch, another smartphone couch video. So I'll just say that's it for now. I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.